Hey craft lovers, my name is Raina. I work for the Western Sullivan Public Library and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a paper picture frame. All you're going to need for this craft is some scissors, a ruler, a pen or pencil. I would prefer like a round um, pencil because we're going to use it to curl the paper with. Um, a photo or picture, so this is mine that I did very quickly, and then you're going to want a bigger piece of either cardstock or regular paper is fine. I have this nice patterned paper that I'm going to be using, and then you're going to want some glue. Um, we also, if you want, at the end, I'm going to show you guys how to make it so that you can attach magnets to it so you can put it on your fridge. So for that, you're going to need some magnets and a piece of cardboard as well. All right, so let's get started. So first, I'm going to try and figure out um, where to center this. And I'm going to want the pattern to be on the underneath. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my photo and I'm going to try to lay it in the center. Take my ruler and see. Yep, it's just about the center. All right, and then I'm going to take my pencil and mark where that is. And I'm going to do that on all sides. Okay, my photo might be a different measurement from yours, but it seems like mine is um, six inches all the way around. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our ruler, we are going to connect the lines across. All right, so your photo or your um, piece of paper should look like this. You should have like two little squares up in each corner. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut those little corner squares out, okay? Take your scissors. All right, so it should look like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pencil. And we're just going to roll the sides into the center as tightly as we can. You can always go back and recurl them. This one is a little bit flimsy, so I want to go back and recurl that one. Okay, so once you're done curling, it should look like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to glue our um, picture into the center. So I have Mod Podge.
for my glue, but you could probably use Elmer's glue or um, you can use school glue. So that's that finished product. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually glue these sides down a little bit. That way they stay nice and curled. I think that if I had used cardstock, it probably wouldn't um, be coming apart so easily. So if you have cardstock and you'd like to use that, definitely do that. Um, I've seen people use uh, cardstock and then they decorate it, which looks really nice. Too. All right, so that's my finished picture frame. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make it so that we can put magnets on it and stick it on the fridge. So um, I'm going to go and get some light cardboard um, to put on the back of this. That way it's nice and sturdy when we put the magnets on. Okay, so I've got my light piece of cardboard here. I got it off of a UPS box. And I'm going to glue my picture on top of it. All right, so there's that. And now, take our magnet. Let's see, I'm gonna cut um, two uh, five inch strips. Okay, so I got my two strips here. And this one has a um, an adhesive already on it, so you can flip this over and try and line up where you want the magnet to go. I think I know exactly where I'm putting mine. There's my first one. <clears throat> There's my second one. All right, and that's it. And now you have a picture frame. Super cute, and you can put it on the fridge. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And next week, we'll be doing a rerun of one of my older videos. And then the Friday after that, I will be showing you guys how to make some t-shirt yarn. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.